Kia ora te whanau. How are you doing, my dear ones? I hope you're really, really well. So today's sharing, this offering, is specifically for the tane, the, the men in our soul food family, because I feel like I haven't connected with you guys for a little while, and I just wanted to take the opportunity. As some of you will know, predominantly the soul food whanau is made up of men, actually, There's the, in terms of the weighting of... Um, our community we have a lot of gents in the community so I kind of really like to um, be specific sometimes and include something just for you guys because you know as most of us will be aware really there are challenges just as there are for women that are very specific to women as there are for guys out there so so yeah but regardless this is for everyone because most of us whatever our gender love a man in our life somewhere so really this sharing will help all of us i hope three spiritual secrets now my loves i guess disclaimer from the get-go some of you who know my content well and have a sense of who I am after these years that I've been on YouTube, you kind of know my spiritual leanings. You you get a vibe from me. You kind of know where I sit. And so none of this will be that surprising to you. I kind of make no apologies because, you know, our beliefs, our feelings about things, about the way the world works, whatever that may mean, our political leanings, our religious leanings, spiritual, whatever, they're so unique to each of us that they don't really mean, unless, you know, you hold certain positions in the world, then yes, obviously one has to be accountable. And it's not about saying, oh, yeah, just, you know, be hateful to others and harmful um, in our speech. I'm not obviously advocating for that. But what I mean to say, my loves, is that there's no point me trying to kind of say, oh, well, I believe this because of that, da, da. You take this or leave it. This is free content at the end of the day and we are all free to listen to what we want and be where, whatever online spaces we want to be in. So I'm assuming if you're listening to this that you already have a sense of my vibe and where I sit. You know, guys, already you know that I'm a psychotherapist, I'm a yoga teacher. And those things in and, in and of themselves will give you a fair bit of information. If you Even if you just Google those two terms, that would tell you a lot about who I am. And so I'm not going to unpack too much about why I have these beliefs or where everything comes from, but I will just dive deep into what I believe to be true and in the hope that it will serve some of you out there. The first spiritual secret that may not be apparent, um, even though I think on some level some of what I'm about to say is going to be really intuitive to a lot of you as well at the same time. Point number one, my loves, is if you have a female in your life or someone with female energy, whether you're trans, gay, or non-binary person, you know, wherever you feel you are, who you are as a human being, I'm speaking to female energy as much as a female in what I'm about to say, okay? So it could be someone who identifies as a, a trans woman, or it could be someone who is cis. So yeah, just to add that little side note, what you need to do if you want to bless yourself, is you need to lavish the woman in your life with so much love, as if she were a goddess. And I'm not saying that you become like a kind of um, slave to anybody or anything like that. We aim to um, be loving and respectful to those in our world who are worthy of that, regardless of their gender, sexuality, whatever. In the body of knowledge that I draw from, which is Vedic wisdom, and that's just one of many, there is this idea that the planets obviously have a massive impact on our lives. Pretty much all of us appreciate that Venus, just that word, we associate with feminine, with luxury, with so many things that are... um, beautiful beauty itself and sex and all of that stuff so in vedic astrology venus is is the female is the wife um or the girlfriend right and so one very easy way that you can actually improve your own life and it sort of just makes sense on so many levels regardless of astrology (laughs) vedic astrology bestow upon your woman that kind of goddess like loving 
And that can just be bringing her breakfast in bed every now and then. It can be about massaging her feet. It doesn't actually have to be that you're going out to, you know, Louis Vuitton and buying her the latest handbag and stuff. I'm not talking about spending money. In fact, I would argue that it would be awesome if you could figure out ways to lavish your loved one, your assuming you have a a feminine energy in your life, whether that's embodied in a woman um, or someone else with feminine energy, if you could find a way to do that, that doesn't cost anything. Now there's a challenge for you, right? Um, That you can do just with what you have in your home. I would almost say that would be the bigger, the bigger gift. Yeah, you might have a partner who actually loves, you know, designer handbags or whatever. There's nothing wrong with that in my view. It's just that what I'm saying is not that you have to suddenly spend a lot of money, okay? So just to be clear on that point, but the point is it creates a virtuous circle when you take extra care of that feminine energy in your household, you're actually kind of almost paying homage to Venus herself. And in that way, because Venus in Vedic astrology is associated with all the things that we tend to have on our vision boards, the cars, the houses, the accolades, or, you know, even someone famous that you want to meet. All of that is Venus. If you want those things, then the easiest way or kind of shortcut way to getting them is actually to start by your own altruism, your own love towards the feminine right? So if you're single, you could also do that. And you could do that by honoring your own self-worth. So whatever gender you identify as, you could do this, right? You could, you could have a massage if that's safe and, you you know, these levels that we now live in allow, right? You could give yourself a, a foot massage or buy yourself a book that you've been wanting to read and take time to enjoy it, light a candle, doesn't matter, you know, so you might be thinking, God, that sounds hella girly, you know, (laughs) if you kind of identify as a real alpha male, you might think, "Mm, I don't think I'm going to do that. But listen, if you and if you're single specifically, and you haven't got that female human being in your world, who you can adore, and, um, you know, really adorn with whatever treasure, whatever love you can, Um, then you can do that for yourself as well. You can do that for yourself regardless. And I obviously would advocate for that, you know, massively important, you know, self-love is massively important. That's the first point, my loves. Try it for a month and see what happens. And then you can come back to the comment section below this video and let me know if you've noticed a difference. I can almost guarantee that you will. Um, Very obviously because, you know, It creates a virtuous circle, a virtuous cycle in your relationship. And of course, if you, for example, lived with your mother or you lived with your extended family and you happen to have a few women in the house, you could extend this in an appropriate way to all of them. And I would advise that you do. And again, notice what comes back to you. Notice whether you are seeing more blessings, as it were, from Venus herself in the things that you are actually desiring in the world. Point number two, did you know, my guys, did you know (laughs) that there's actually research to suggest that in, at least I believe this research was probably carried out on heterosexual couples. So you could argue that this won't wash in anything other than, you know, heteronormative there relationships. (laughs) But I would say, again, just holding on to ideas of typical ideas about femininity and typical of masculinity. Let's not dissect those in this space because there isn't the time really. When men do more housework, they get more sex. (laughs) that's what this research suggested. I always find it extraordinary that more men haven't cottoned on to this, really. It's very simple. And, you know, I mean, there's so many things. I mean, if, if you're female listening to this, why do you think that is? I've got so many obvious ideas around that. And, you know, we can all, you know, really guess quite easily why, you know, of course our partners are going to endear themselves to us if they take the time to actually lighten the load that we have. Um, so, of course, and it frees us up, it frees our energy. I mean, again, this is this kind of speaks to that first point about really honouring that female energy in your world. I thought I would share that with you. Use it as you will. 
<laughs> it's gonna be a lot of guys out there now doing the vacuuming and the girlfriend's wives are gonna be looking around thinking huh well, i've never seen you do that before <laughs> what the hell's going on but again test it and see you know i'm not saying to believe any of this my loves this is the beauty about you know yoga that I love it's it's actually like science it's actually the idea and the invitation is to try things and then see it's not saying you must believe this you this is the law generally you know it's much more about do the meditation and see how you feel afterwards do you feel better hmm yeah, I do. <laughs> Big surprise. You know, you do your research on yourself, right? So I advise you, I suggest, try these things. Maybe you say it's a bunch of hooey, didn't do anything for me. But I pretty much guarantee if you tried it for a month with that humility and um, sincerity of heart, I would almost guarantee that there's going to be some some shift for you. There's going to be something that you notice different. I would love to know, you know, so again, you know, if you feel comfortable to share, come back and comment. OK, my loves. The point number three is kind of a spiritual one, kind of a mental health one. And these things overlap, don't they, my love? So I just want to to say to you, my dear male soul food whānau, that it's so important for you guys in the way now that men are kind of redefining themselves in the world, good men anyway, it's very necessary. I think that's just a necessary process that we're going through um, in this era. And as part of that, I feel it's really important, especially given the work that I'm doing now as a forensic psychotherapist. A lot of my clients are men and men who have really kind of screwed up, quite frankly, and are, are really trying to figure out how to do way better actually how to avoid jail quite frankly sometimes you know what I mean so it's pretty pretty serious so again you can take this or leave this but I just feel that one of the key things that is imperative for you to consider is self-care and specifically really taking yourself away from your usual hubbub whether that is your work maybe your whole life is work and all you do is work maybe your life is a lot of family time and you've got kids and you know that challenging work as a parent is you know can be relentless I think we often say to women and it's obviously for obvious reasons super important for women to take time out but it's also important for you as well. And it's important for, for men to figure out ways to process their emotions. If that's important for everyone, but specifically because, because of oh, we're different, you know, men, women, in terms of our hormones and the way that we react to things, the way that we, we kind of move through the world, the very essence of what makes a man distinct from more feminine humans is that kind of drive, that passion, the anger, the kind of aggressiveness. And if that isn't figured out, it can become so destructive. And I think most men know this, but the problem is there isn't always the language to unpack, well, okay, I do know this. I know I get angry. I know I get pissed off with this and I know I've effed up. And, you know, so what do I do with it? Well, this is your task, but I do feel and this might not be a popular opinion, but I do feel that it's important to, you know, ideally get out into nature on your own or with another man, with another male energetic human and just reset and to unplug from whatever your daily hubbub, your daily work or life looks like, have a reset. And I feel it's also your task as it is for all of us as whatever we are as human beings to to find that language for yourself that allows you to be moderate in how you express yourself so it isn't coming out in violence or rage or whatever you know we could unpack that in several layers just think about it I guess my invitation to you my dear is just to think about that and what that might mean for you what that might look like for you how could you make that practical maybe it's not practical for you to take yourself off camping or every you know three months or you know maybe that's really really impractical and you live in the city and it's not but there's always ways in my view I grew up in the city guys just in case you don't know that I you know I bought I was born and raised in London lived in London pretty much my whole life until I got to 30 29 30 and then I moved to the countryside and there on I started to move further and further away from the place I was born to the point now I'm almost at the furthest point 
on earth I could be away from the place I was born in New Zealand, you know? So the point is though, I can speak from my own experience of finding retreat, finding solace, finding isolation even in, in one of the busiest cities on the planet. So, and I, and I often didn't have money, you know, when I was younger. I feel it's possible for all of us. It's just that it's not necessarily made a priority. But I, I feel, especially for you guys, you need that. You so need that space and you deserve it importantly I think this is the message that I don't hear very often and I certainly see this in my work where it's an affirmation that I feel is needed to be stated you deserve time out away from your daily routines in a way that allows you to reset and actually come back better as a regular thing right not just as a one-off once every few years you know Um, so again I invite you to think about this my love let me know in the comments below if you want to kind of just, you know, share some ideas that might spark something for someone else. So comments are really useful. They're obviously helpful to me in terms of elevating the message I have, because that's how algorithms work. The more comments we get, the more it inspires the social media platform to say, oh, maybe people actually like this. Let's show it to a few more, you know. So it helps me, but it also might help another person in the community. So I really, from my heart, I I really hope that you will have taken something from this. And if you have, just drop me a comment below and let me know. Just drop me a heart, a thumbs up. Let me know that this has hit something for you. And if you'd like more of it, okay? So my loves, thank you so much for listening. Stay really well and look after yourself. Look after your whanau. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Kia ora.